Finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back right now, they're pretty quick. Talk about videos. So of course though, um, really tired, really tired. Is that day after Thanksgiving? The day after Thanksgiving. I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired. I just, whew. Went out. Um, actually, um, I was here like I actually went out of town with my family. I had a fun time. Let's go another fun. Good to see my family. About that. And I'm gonna be out of town on Christmas though. So, yeah. I seem really tired. I seem really yawny. So, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I'm probably gonna bring the video really quick. I just really want to kind of just get it done. I really want to get some sleep though. So, uh, yeah. We all the drama hero units. So uh, older ones can easy. A is finally, finally, finally after like 2,000 years. All I really want is easy. A including myself though. So those are actually really really good. But yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of new info, just again, just a lot of people want this for a really long time, and I can agree as well. Again, like I said, um, a lot of people want this for a long time, I can agree as well. Um, again, we're gonna be repeating myself a lot though. Uh, of course, we have 30 stones, and that's it for all, all, all of each type of which we'll get every stage. It'll be 1,500, um, yeah, but 1,550. Uh, for small, 1,000 medium, 100 large, we got 15 bronze for each, each of them, 40 silver. 40 gold, 30 bra 30 rainbow, um, two grand kinds of each type. Okay, that's, um, that's fair because you're getting so much already here in the state. You got so many orbs, I mean, are the orbs, stones, metals, and just so much already here. So, I feel like they're gonna probably like this is the first batch. I feel like next year, it's a lot of people are still speculating next year's units, um, like Dark Mask King, like, um, Black, I think, like Time Breaker, like Vegeta, um. I got like so many different humans. They're even both on VGF film, which VGF film is actually pretty cool. Um, they are actually with all the Dragon Ball heroes right here. Um, so yeah, um, again, very, very simple easy and stuff like that. Like I said, um, I think speculation next year. I feel like no, they just got like this this year. Ames could probably get one like, free play easy area because Ames could probably get one uh, right here. Uh, Souls will probably can get one. Dark Mass on um, King, Dark on um, Black Mass and I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's Black Mass and that's Vegeta right there. I hope I'll get easy next year maybe Demon Girl, because those guys really badly do need ETAs. They're just they need it probably the most But the first shoes ever that day actually got, got the easy and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I can't these three easy are gonna be insane. Like Goku and Spring Guard are probably the best shoots out of all these guys. And Dr. Soul, Dr. Soul and Demon like in Demon what is this? Demon Guy, Demon Girl. Demon Guy, Demon Girl is actually really good. Like I used him like ever since last year, he's aged really well actually. Him and Taurus, but I really don't use Taurus as much though, just because I, again, I just flip back and forth. I used to war in Battlefield, he does destroy, he's a good support unit, you know, and he does a lot of damage, it's like, he's a perfect example of a really good balance unit. I remember the last couple years though, like I said though, again, a lot of these units got away, can use about that Super Mira, probably Demon God, Demon God? Okay, yeah, Demon God's on, um, Manosh, Man 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 no, but, Manaka form, Manaka, Manaka form? They're like, 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 they're um, when I saw when I first time I saw it, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah, um, this is the hero's category summon. No, just um, yeah, this, the category summon more. Yeah, oh yeah, because I don't actually want to open this up. This is the category summon, right? Then of course you got all the new unit awakenings, right? You got this. Then you got the crossover banner. It's the crossover banner. So they pretty much have like every unit in here besides the new units. Though. So if you're some old units or whatever, specifically if you want to focus on like say all the old units, even awakenings on here. Um, again, like I said, you are going to probably get basically easy characters because the first 30, the first, um, summons are actually, I think, 30 summons, I think? Yeah, 30 summons, um, for the first three summons, which actually are really good, and for the easiest, the easiest stuff like that. I probably recommend doing this only for, like, some of the older units, because these units are actually going to be really good, probably, though, so, um, definitely Dr. Solid, too, because you actually age a little bit as well. But yeah, if you were simply hunting the old units and you don't want any of the new units, I think the easy is a little, a little bit better. You can get, you're going to basically get guaranteed the older units anyway in general though, so I probably highly recommend doing that one if you're missing a lot of those old units. Specifically though, like I said, if you're missing those old units and you want like, the future ones and you can, like I said, like maybe Tinepa, Tinepu, again, you can still get them on this banner though, but I feel like if you really want to get them on the other banner, I don't like mind it because they are using the stones and stuff like that for the first three at least. Discounts probably recommend on even doing that in general though, just in case, like, you know, get some dupes from them maybe. Because you dudes, like, and, like I said, only come back once a year and they are really worth it to use. I'll be like, oh, yeah, they age so fast and stuff like that. Sure, if you want to go ahead and believe that philosophy in your head. But, um, they're really good, honestly. In my opinion, like I said, they really are good. I recommend highly doing probably those summons if you really want those units. Like I said, if you're specifically hunting the old units, maybe you don't want to beat up the new units. It's really probably the most better, but, um, yeah. 
again, still going back and forth and stuff like that. I actually want to make that very short. Like, choose someone in the Heroes banner, and yes, you actually should, because again, like I said, every year, you just are worth it to get huge ending up every single year. God Trunks is going to be like, you know, Xeno Pens are going to be in the pool, like this pool, like next year. Then we get like five or six. I think, I think this year, actually, I was going to like, but they didn't do six. They do six units every year, though, because we got Demon Guys, Patina, it's a free play unit. Then, of course, we got these guys, which I don't make cool cool It's basically like Burlich like, Hill. I don't know, he's very really good. But Bell's pretty decent. Um, like, she's good. It's out of time. Um, Rainwash is really good. Um, God Trunks is really decent. Xeno Pan is probably the best one out of all these. Like, how do you make Xeno Pan they go to Trunks? Xeno Pan, Trunks. Xeno Pan, Trunks. Xeno Pan, God Trunks. Super Saiyan God Trunks, Xeno Pan. Pan. I don't know. Of course, but yeah. Don't go to you stuff like that in the middle of the video. But yeah, um, tr so Trunks, this Trunks, Super Saiyan 3, oh, don't go on. And Go Tanks, uh, Darkness Toa, Baby Boo Bobbity, and uh, Baby Chinepo. All have, um, and all have the same little skill, like AJ, like a typing perspective, typing, like, for, like, for example, Trunks has key 3, I think 100% all of them have it, and Pycon has key 3, I think they have it at 80%, though. So it really is this, their little skills are all kind of same, a little bit different, besides Pycon. Um, otherwise, the other skills are all the same, which is going to be SA effect and passive, because Link's and Category is not changed at all. Again, Dragon Ball Heroes also has a little bit of helping out, it's going to help out all these categories. Again, best of Super Saiyan 3 is because that team really badly needs it, though. Especially when Super Saiyan 3 Rose probably comes out. Maybe the year next, so next year I think it's going to be like Eleanor Baker, Super Saiyan 4, um, Vegito probably. And like, they can do that in like Super Saiyan 4, Eleanor Baker, Vegito. Or being an Evolution Blue, like just probably like some double thing. Because every year they do change it up though, so next year I'll probably like, you know, I think that's probably going to be an outlaw. I, I doubt he'd be a regular unit, I feel like he might be an outlaw. Because this year we're at ECA, a lot of people want that last year, and last year we got Super Saiyan 4 and stuff like that, a lot of people really want that. That was a good Super Saiyan 4 buff. That team came out and stuff like that for global and everything. It came out for global really, really early intended. Um, prior to the, the Super Saiyan 4 um, and Gogeta and stuff like that though. So, so yeah, of course. Okay, I want to use all the info and everything, of course. So let's get this done. So Trunks does, um, of course, there's going to all pretty much the same. Besides Pycon, he does key 3 and everything at 80%. I don't know why I bother. But yeah, um, it looks, like I said, really just passive mini SA for all going to be probably different. And like again, like I said, I think the category can change at all when they use character ETAs, but like I said, in the, all the drug market units that all are actually helping out teams of buffs. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, but I think these teams actually really do help though, so. Bonus. But anyway, that in global. Again, for both global and JP as well at the same time, so you don't have to worry. Not on JP, not on global, separately, like, whatever. No global chat, no JP chat, because who gives a crap anymore? So yeah. Um, SA effects are bringing damage. Raise attack defense up for 9 turns, look decent. I like that can be feeling. No, actually, it's already good though, already. Uh, first part of his passing was actually the same though, except, except the 100%, except the 120. Um, he, still guard, he has a head chance to guard against all attacks. I feel like that should have just been permanent though. I feel like that would be a lot better permanent because, I mean, I mean, at the same time, you're already getting attack defense raising up. And he's already a good tank super battle road though, so I kind of get why. Plus, another attack, um, another attack up 30% from the same turn when guard is activated. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And another attack was 12%, um, up to max of 60 with each attack received. Plus another attack was 10% up to max of 60 with each attack performed. So he's basically going to be attack and defense kind of. His, his attack is going to go through the roof already though. It seems like it's, his, his attack just raised the whole though. It seems like it's all like, pretty much different though. Because he's, he, he's already going to be a tank regardless of his defense. Like even going on nine turns. That's still gonna be insane. Like he still tanks no matter what, though. See, I think it's really to give him a lot more attack, though. Defense is fine, right? Because like I said, with super attack, he's just keep, he's gonna keep getting that nine defense over and over and over. Then uh, defense for like nine turns over and over, over again, like I said. Um, and also in general, though, like I said, he's gonna be guarding already. He's just he's, he's gonna, they really to give him a lot more attack, though. Kind of like the uh, new LR trunk stuff. But it's just like the new LR physical trunk so I'm not joking. Pretty much though. So yeah. Um, once I go on, of course. Man, I can't wait for Super Saiyan 3 Future Gohan. I already got my guy right here in last year. We got Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3 Future Gohan. Well, they can do a Super Saiyan 4 Future Gohan. We have to get back to that. That'd be kind of cool. Super Saiyan 3 Future Gohan. I am ready for that unit when that comes out, though. I doubt though any time soon. Or Super Saiyan 3 Rose. Man, they think that guy actually had to make a new intro. So, that's coming up soon. New intro coming out soon. Though. So, yeah. Um, it just goes swing damage. Steals, oh, he steals attack and defense for 9 turns, like drums, basically. Um, keep us two, attack defense was 120, plus another attack defense was 70%. Super attack, I think it's pretty much the same. 
Gains attack defense by 30%. With three or more heat spheres attained, medium chance of performing a crit up to five. Ooh, five or more heat spheres obtained. Reduces the damage by 30% for seven or more, um, less, seven or more heat spheres attained. So it seems like he's just really just unique heat spheres basically, basically make him stronger. It's gonna be kind of hard though, a little bit. He's kind of unique and different though, because again, you, know, you get a lot, you get three or more basically. You have a medium chance of doing a crit, which he has built to crit now. I would honestly I'd say still feeling full, full additional, full additional, full additional, just because again, like I say, he's gonna be ready to see like super attacks for like you know, ready to go attack for like nine turns. Um, but now he's gonna have basically built to crit, which actually is gonna be pretty good for this guy. Yeah, because before I think the biggest complaint he didn't do enough, enough damage though, but um, he was actually still pretty decent when he first came out, even when he got so like the prior though, so um, yeah, um, yeah, um. Pretty okay, I guess. But you, know, so you can't really change these guys too too much though, because they're gonna be way too crazy. So I kind of get it, though. He's that crazy. The built-in crit, like we have, like I think what three more heat spheres and medium chance. He's pretty good though. And like I said, you do damage or you know get five or more heat spheres. Um, when you get seven or like um, basically five or more, you get like reduced damage. So it's either reducing damage or getting like crit. So have you probably get, like five or more. Sometimes you get three or more. So uh, it's gonna be kind of hard battling with this guy a little bit though. It's gonna be kind of crazy though at the same time. I don't really, I don't know what to think of this guy. He seems pretty okay. I don't know why. Um, again, like I said, getting quick blitz and crit is actually really good though, but if you also want to reduce damage, you can kind of fight back and forth. But every time you, you will probably get like a lot of keys for it. If it's a battle road, you might get like three. Or like, you know, because again, this guy's going to be really good for battle road if you really, really want to use him there though. But, um, I see, I didn't, I didn't think I used him as a battle road. I would just, you know, go into a battle road. He was insane. Um, I don't know, these are so okay. I gotta probably. Maybe using that built-in because I guess it's gonna be really good for this guy. Um, and I mean, a lot of like Super Saiyan threes usually have built-in crit. Okay, like, I don't want to spend too much too much on this guy. He seems really okay. Um, like I said, though, you, you really don't need changes to him that much, especially this guy. He needed a lot of change. So his um, super tech effects, free damage, raise tech defense up to six turns. They're stacking pretty much already. Um, tech defense plus hundred percent plus additional attack plus one hundred percent bring super attack. Keep us one up to three. Plus additional attack defense of 10, uh, plus up 10% up to max of 30. With each, with each super attack performed, high chance of going to additional super attack with five for, um, the first half, for the first half, first five turns for a side battle. Okay, this is pretty okay as well. Like I said, again, like this guy's gonna be rocking with the damage anyway though, because he's gonna raise up attack and defense though, so it kinda does make sense though. Again, like I said, uh, go for additional for this guy, he can raise up attack and defense, and he can also be able to a lot of the potential super attacks. Of course, like I said, and when the more super attacks you get, the more you raise the attack and defense. Okay, this guy seems pretty fun though. I actually see this guy being really fun in some defense. Because he can get, he's gonna get probably get a super attack, and all, on top of that, he's also probably gonna um, also output a lot of damage. So, like I said, raising his attack defense up and getting more of a tech defense as time goes on though. So, those good things actually pretty decent though. I uh, see him now, I think Gohan is kind of like. I don't think Gohan got shafted though, but it's also like. Oh, you actually need a lot of changes as well as with Python. Uh, wait, oh yeah, if, oh yeah, so he even really raises attack defense, spring damage, and lowers attack. That's a really good effect, all of that effect. Uh, key 3, attack defense plus 120, you want to use additional super attack that's high chance of becoming a um, additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, if it's one enemy, plus additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack with two or more enemies. Okay, the same thing, literally it's working before. Plus additional attack, um, in defense of 60% with, you know, dark damage that is attack now status. Okay, they're very, very simple. I don't know how I feel like he was going to be like that, though. So, yeah, you know, like I say, he's going to be really good. He's really just going to be really good to be better. That's what we're talking to say there, though. Um, but, like I said, a lot of people are not going to really run this guy just because it's links and. Which I think is decent, though, but it's also like this, no one, like, when he first came out, no one was like really ran Python anyway, though. So, and I don't know, he might come like a really good super battle road unit. Again, he's pretty much weak for super battle road. He'll be tanking, but he goes from attack defense and lowering attack. And again, like I said, when he's going to take down status, he's going to really go to town with all this stuff. So, yeah, he's really made, just made for super battle road and stuff like that, though. So, yeah, of course. I'll take two to all the villains. Um, Dr. Stella. Oh boy, Thick Mr. Chief right here. So yeah, um, Thick Mr. Stella. Um, not Dr. Stella. Thick Mr. Stella. So of course, um, yeah, was, my face is going to look really good. So yeah, spring damage, greatly raised attack and defense. Uh, oh, well, greatly lowers attack and defense. Holy crap. Um, attack defense was, I think, her, they made her price insane. Attack defense was 100%. It's another attack defense was 100% when there's a super class enemy. Was additional defense plus 80% when there's a stream class enemy. Holy crap. 
Oh yeah, because I forgot, like, they all, like, I don't know, like, Darkness Toa, Jimmy King to they all technically work together in the end, like, because they, like, Springtrap Todd and, like, Mickey King, you know, like, they're dark, like, Mickey King Kabora and stuff like that, though, even though Trump's literally a like, half with the Keyblade Sword, though. Yeah. Um, that's crazy, though. Holy crap. Which makes sense, though. Um, so, like, yeah, so basically you can fire my heroes or villains, though, so, makes sense. Extreme class enemies with key 3 and attack defense plus 40%. Extreme class allies attack defense with 60%. It recovers 100% health and HP 30% or less on once. Okay, they kept that. Um, those which you already know before. They just gave her, like, okay, so basically all they gave her was, um, additional attack defense. They gave her attack defense was 100% and another attack defense 100% or playing dead. So if class enemy, and they gave her basically defense to find extreme class enemy. So if, uh, so if you're really, like, so you kind of flip back and forth, like, if you're going to fight against the hero unit, okay, do you want attack and defense, or do you want to prioritize me just defense, though? But still is going to be support for villains, so. Which definitely, like I said, makes sense. Just because, um, her didn't get bored, like, they all end up working together in the end to be able to be, um, make you King Kabor. So, basically, that's what they, but they're really, just kind of why they're saying, she's doing her dummy disgusting, like, holy crap. If I her against hero and villains, that's gonna be insane. Like, holy crap, like, they were not holding back with her. She's probably like the best. Holy crap, though. That's insane. They made her crazy. Holy crap. What were they thinking? They made her just crazy. Against hero and villains? Crazy. It's a good hero and villains in that show anyway, though, so. Yeah, she's just crazy all, all around though. They made her crazy. Okay, on the um this guy of course really need help though. Let's make a long time. This guy. Um Super Attack Effect, Great Waste Defensive for one turn, Sweep Damage with the Hygiene Stunning. Okay, that's the same. Attack defense plus one twenty, plus another attack defense plus hundred percent. I always gain defense with fifty percent of eighty percent or some um eighty one percent or more. <laughs> Thank you, you're probably gonna say though. Plus, it just shows defense plus hundred percent those allies has key th in their allies. Key three when HP is eighty percent or less. Recovers eight percent HP. Okay, they did it before. So yeah, again, a little bit of what he did before. I, know, I remember him, him recovering HP. I also remember him giving key like to be like just support though. Honestly, it's pretty just like, pretty much support for himself in the first part. Then you again like it's literally like get one little HP percentage lower than or less. Or yeah, it's, it's right here because you're gonna see probably like the first part in the a lot though. I feel like it's either or though, honestly though. You can't you can't really kinda of tell though, but you can also probably gotta tell where you're like, you know, going through events and stuff like that though, so but just more how it's put honestly here. Probably good actually, it's decent. But it's also like the HP restriction is like way crazy though. I was thinking 50% or less because of this is like thinking like that to a battle road, that's all he's pretty much gonna shine. I feel like boop is probably gonna be really let's say boop. Boo. Um, talking about like, uh, Boo Bobby just talking about like pretty decent there, I guess. Again, like I said, helping all your allies or, you know, helping out himself pretty much. So, again, like I said, you're gonna see probably either or, honestly, though. So, yeah. Um, this one's the last one, Baby Jennifer. So, he does super, super attack effect, raise attack for one turn, defense, um, sweet damage, uh, lower some enemy defense, recovers. Oh, I don't know, dog. Also, what the heck? Um, recovers super set HP. Attack defense was 120 because I started at the start of turn. I choose the vein, enemies attack with super attacks. Um, his uh, tunes of vein attack including super attacks up 12% within the same turn each attack is received. So every time he can say he has every time he can say he has a high chance dodging. Position of attack defense was 120 when there's a number super attack by HP's 8% or above, 6 or above. Okay, it's kind of decent though as well. Okay, you might not see it all the time though, but that's probably reasonable kind of. So he's basically just really Jinnipo in our show, every Jinnipo in our show, just evading because before he like, he was pretty much a defensive tank. But, and, like breaking walls and stuff like that though, but nowadays every unit sort of breaks defense. But then also on top of that though, um, um, he basically just like literally, literally every Jinnipo unit just tanking and dodging pretty much though, so that was very simple and easy. That's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover go for. Again, they're all pretty okay though in their own ways, like Go Tanks can be really good for like, super attack and stuff like that, you can stack it up easily really, really well. Trunks can be really good for defense and stuff like that. Pycos can be really good against a lot of enemies. Um, so, 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 go on pretty decent as well, it's pretty okay. Oh, Dr. So was disgusting. I feel like she's probably the best one out of all these, honestly. Her and Trunks, and I feel like Go Tanks could be at least top three. Maybe Jinnipo's gonna be literally just, literally just, 
every day, but I'm sure Blue Ball is going to help me out with all that so support and stuff like that, though. So, yeah. So, you guys know, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. Oh, you know, make sure I stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. are going out. Put it on massive. Tell them really, really to get some sleep and rest, please. I don't think it's going to be going to be knocked out. So, we're going to think about all you guys all stuff like that, of course. Just like if you hate it again, very simple, very easy stuff like that, though. So, yeah. And like I said, I'm really sleep, really tired, though. So, um, yeah. Please just go ahead and be out there. Like I said, so if you think their is pretty okay though, like I said, but you just have both in court, which I think is really good. Or you can choose to, you know, get more attack defense. But next is gonna be really good. Blue Bob would need to get like some support. So we say three tech go tanks again, really good really, really good record with some attack, with some attack defense and damage overall. They'll help you like always like chip damage and everything. Basically with crit and stuff like that, it's gonna be really good. So we think trunks could be a gigantic tank. Battle's gonna be really good. So battle rail, darkest toe, I don't know what they did with her. They made her disgusting. So yeah. Go ahead and be out there for sure though, so yeah. Move, I'm sleeping. See you guys in the weekend, though. Nope.